Hi! In my previous video, I used Prigify to build controls for Mixamo characters. Now, I'm going to use the Mixamo animation library on my Rigify rigs. There are many resources online about Rigify, so I will not go over that now. But I will in the future, so if you have any questions about rigging, you are very welcome to ask in the comments. Without some little fixes, Rigify armatures might not work very well outside of Blender. The reason is that each limb has its own hierarchy, and they are kept together by bone constraints. This makes the rigging system very flexible, but constraints cannot be exported to external formats. There are many tools that address this issue. I like my own, because it leaves the controls hierarchy untouched and makes very few assumptions about the character that we are exporting. So, if the XPK add-on is enabled, I will just right-click and look for the Rigify Game Friendly Operator. After the execution, it will look like nothing has happened at all, but if we check the outliner, we will find all the deformation bones under the Death Spine branch. Now, this rig can be exported to Unreal, Unity or other game engines. We rename its bones to make it work with Mixamo as well. We right-click in Pose Mode, Convert Bone Names, and it's a Rigify source type that must become Mixamo. That's it! We export the armature and the model via FBX. In the options we make sure to export only the deformation bones and no leaf bones. We don't need the other types either, so we disable them and hit export. We reach for Mixamo.com in our web browser push upload character, drag our FBX, and after a while we should see our hero in the viewport. The materials might be wrong, but that will be fine. And now we can pick some nice animations. Let's see, we have the sassy work, and whatever dance this one is. And this one that I like a lot, the legendary hurricane kick. <laughs> Let's download it. And back to Blender, import the FBX. And there it is, the hurricane kick. She is here, flying and kicking. We have two characters in the scene. One is our original, and the other is the animated version from Mixamo. To bind ours to the animated rig, we select our rigify armature, and then Mixamo's. Go in pose mode, right click, constrain to other armature. It's a Rigify inverse kinematic skeleton that is going to follow a Mixamo import. So far, so good, because when we download our character complete with its model, Mixamo will not modify our original rest pose. It's not the same when we download animations without skin. In that case, the downloaded file will contain only the armature, its size can be considerably lower, and when we import into Blender, we will find out that the rest pose defaults to a T. We could very well stick to always downloading with Mesh, but that would rule out animation packages, which are a very convenient way to download many animations at once. They have one T pose animation per file. Usually, binding armatures with different rest states requires a retargeting pose, but I have added a new checkbox to the constraint operator, it compensates for different poses and we can basically forget about it. With that in mind, we can import all the FBX files from the zip at once. We leave out the character FBX. We delete all the imported armatures except one that we need for retargeting. The other animations will stay in the scene. We select our Rigify rig, then the imported armature, right click, constrain to active armature. We want to bind the Rigify key controls to a Mixamo import, and we make sure to check Match Target Transform. Now that the two armatures are connected, we can move to the animation workspace, switch to the action editor, and try the other actions. These are still Mixamo animations. The Rigify controls are moved by constraints and don't have actual keyframes yet. We should bake them all, 
And to make that easier, I have added an operator that will do that at once. So we go again, select Rigify, select Mixable, right click, we pick Bake Constraint Actions. Like my other operators, it asks for the skeleton type, but I plan to remove that in the future, the script should figure it out itself. It can take a while, but eventually a bunch of actions will be added to the scene. We can delete the Mixamo skeleton, our character can move on its own animations. The script will also clear the fake users, so we can clean up the file and have only the rigify anims. Now that we have so many actions, we are supposed to rename them all since they have the action.number name. It's a pity, because the FBX files were neatly named, but the FBX importer has left the name out. So I have added yet another operator. It tracks each action to its origin, comparing the durations. Select the rig. Right click. Rename actions from FBX data. We are asked to select the original FBX files and confirm. All the actions with a unique duration will be named after their FBX. The operator cannot distinguish more actions that have the same duration, but will show a list of candidates in the armature menu. For instance, based only on its duration, this can be either falling idle or running. But when we see it, we immediately know which one it is. We click Falling Idle and both are renamed. We keep doing the same. This one is Left Cover Sneak, while this other is a Left Turn. And if I'm not sure, I can look for easier actions and rename them first. This is indeed the working animation. And it is Cover to Stand, because it starts leaning to a wall and then she jumps and stands up. This one is her sneaking towards her left. Likewise, we have a right sneak here. Picking names from a list takes considerably less than typing, so we quickly end up with a neat and named animation library. The next addition to the XP kit will be the ability to bake root motions that are very useful in games or non-linear approach to animation. That's where the video would end, but thanks to the increasing popularity of this channel, we have a new section, the Mailbox of Trouble Rigs, in which I reply to messages about rigging. We have Marco in the comments who asks, I need the fingers to be posable in Ikea, but don't know how to assign that. Do you have any quick tips for that? Thanks for asking, Marco. I wanted to mention that the Mixamo Rigify workflow can have issues with the bones of the fingers. But let's go over the Aki controls first. They are disabled by default. But you can go to your metric, select the first bone of a finger and enable the I key property. To do that on multiple bones at once, keep the Alt button pressed and check the option. It will be set on all selected bones. If you generate your rig now, you will find new controls on the tip of each finger. You will have to slide the finger I key value to use them. If you have animations on F key fingers, there are convert operators that will make them I key animations. And about the Mixamo problem, let's see what happens on this character that I had converted for my previous video. If we inspect the controls of the fingers, we can already see that something is not right. They are all facing different angles. And if we try to curl scaling the main controls, the rotations will be wrong. This happens because the routines cannot figure out the direction of the finger. There is a cure. We select the metric and go in edit mode. We select the mid joint of every finger and make sure we have activated symmetry. All we have to do is move the mid bone slightly upward. We apply the standard workflow now. And the fingers will behave correctly. And by the way, I have added a finger offset in the options, so we can do this when we generate our metaric. Thanks for watching and see you soon.